Hi, hello there. How are we all doing tonight? I hope we're having a fantastic Wednesday. By the way, happy hump day. Woohoo. Halfway through our work week. I hope you had a fantastic day. I hope you have stayed hydrated and I hope you all stayed stress stayed stress free. Excuse me. Tonight we're going to be continuing our gameplay of The Sims 4. As far as the build that we were working on before, I don't know if you all remember it, but we were working on this really cute house that I had found and just decided to continue and kind of building it on stream. But welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome. Let's go ahead and get started with our game today. And I figured tonight, please let me know if the music is a little loud, I did turn it down. But I figured it would be fun to have the music playing in the background for you guys instead of just the regular um, the regular Sims music. So let me know if it's a little too loud. All right, let's head over here. And I believe we were in Newcrest. There we go. Here's the house. All right. Go into build mode. And this is what we were working on originally was this cute little house. I thought it was super cute so far. <clears throat> this is the back of it. 
We have our porch over here. And the side of the house. We really just did like kind of the front of the house. Let's go on the inside. We worked on the living room here. Which I think we've done a fantastic. Hi there, Pam. I'm doing amazing. I hope you're doing just as well. <clears throat> Tonight, we are continuing our build uh, in The Sims 4. And this is the kitchen that we started. And we were doing really good with this. We even got some plates and some silverware and stuff on the table. So tonight, I'm hoping that we're going to finish the entire house, but our goal is at least this section of the house. This is where we're, we're going today. Fancy place settings, yes. Fancy place settings. <laughs> I like the fancy place settings. I like the cups. I wish I could get the cups a little... Um, change as far as where they were a little better but it's it's only the sims will only allow us to do so much unfortunately which is not too bad we even got like a little um capri setting right here which i'm super excited about let me go ahead and put on my cheats though real quick Just so that way I can move things closer to each other. Because I have no intention on actually playing in this house. I have no idea if my sims would even like it. Would like being here. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and get started on this bedroom. So we kind of went with a white um, paint and, and some really nice plush carpeting here. And we were just kind of getting ourselves situated and putting things in here. I'm thinking about putting a, although I'm not sure I would like it, but I'm thinking about putting a TV right here. And I'm also not sure how much I like that light. Oh, you know what? That's pretty cool. Like it now it looks like an entire um ceiling fan. Like an entire fan on the, the light. I like that actually. That looks really nice. And we can put some pictures up here on the walls. I like that quite a bit. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> Going to need electronics, these. And I do work with um, CC, which is also called custom content. So these are, are items that are created by people that are not employed by, you know, EA and The Sims. And so they have built this outside of The Sims and we can um, download it and then use it within our build, which I thought was really ingenious of them. I don't know about y'all. Really nice thing over here. We have all kinds of paints, paintings we can. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Oh, this, you know, I feel like this would be in like a kid's room. That particular painting. Let's see what else I can find though. Oh, I still need to do my steampunk. That's going to be a build for another day. I'd like to do an entire steampunk themed house. And I've already gotten a lot of the stuff I wanted to get for it. Ooh, I like that. 
That's cute. I want the steampunk. Coming, it's coming, I promise. Stick these more up here. Tiny bit higher. Overall, I like the placement of that. That looks really pretty. Anything we might want to put over here, though. I am absolutely crazy about decorative items. But the biggest thing I always need to remember when I make a build is I need to have like a, a bunch of toilet paper stacks for the bathroom. And I do that because one of my favorite uh, Sims 4 creators, is, she's a builder, amazing. Her name is Hi Hello Rachel. If you're not following her, I highly recommend that you go and follow her. She has some of the best builds I have ever seen in my whole life. But she always makes this comment about how she wishes that, as far as The Sims creators, would create a toilet paper pack so she could put it in, in the bathrooms because she is not she does not use um, CC at all in any of her builds. So whatever is there is just there. See what else? Oh, that could be cute right here. Considering this is the master bedroom. And I always like to put paintings like above the headboard, but I just don't feel like it would work very well in this build. <clears throat> and although I think can get away with it let's see if we can put maybe like a, a plant here that is also something i wish they would have more in sims more plants that you could stick all around the home but i hope everyone had a good day my son has made a new friend and i'm really excited for him Let's see, this one is the master bathroom. What color should we do this? And this little girl is so cute. I, I absolutely adore her. And she's so respectful too. Hmm, what color should we have in here? Ooh, we maybe we can make this like um i'm thinking like kind of like under the sea kind of thing i think that would be really cute let's see if we can find a good wallpaper for that file more so specific No, it's too green. But you know what? We could like this. Because this is where the shower. Yeah, have like the rest of it like that. I like that. And please feel free to give me your input on what you think I should change in this build. I really do not mind the feedback. I like that, though. Although I'm now kind of thinking that that doesn't go with the floor very well. <clears throat> Maybe a wallpaper 
actually it might do better here oh that's super cute i didn't know i downloaded that I'm just going to skip that. Let's see. Seashells on the seashore. I like that, but it doesn't go well with the floor. And I really like that floor. I think at this point we'll just have to change the flooring. Which is a shame, because I really liked it. Yeah, that goes much better with this. Now it looks like it's seamless almost. Okay, so now right here should be, let's see, a tub, and right here should be the shower. Let's see, what kind of tub do we want in here? We definitely want a nice big fancy tub. Because I don't know about you, but if I ever had the opportunity to actually build my house, one of the most important things to me would be the bathroom. Why? I don't know. That's just too big. <clears throat> Ooh, a jet set luxury bath. Fancy. Really, I just want a tub that's like big enough for me to be able to almost lay down in is really in all honesty what I want. Let's see what we I like this. I want to have a standing shower right in here. That could be super nice. And then maybe putting like a wall, half wall right here. Yeah. Make a half wall and let's make it. It goes to that way you feel like you're actually being covered. When I was looking at houses, I really wanted a nice big tub, but none of the houses in my price range had one. I like the idea of having a separate shower and bath, but that is a sign of luxury for me. Same. Same. Absolute same. I just don't know what it is. I just really want a big tub. Music was just a tad too loud in my ear. Hmm. Now I'm wondering if it's kind of too high. Now that's that's too small. Actually, I like that a lot better. There we go, and then we just need this part. Let's see, a wood wall trim. Dark brown? Oh, I love that. I don't know what it is about, like, dark brown. Maybe the person who is building this house is tall. True. True, they might be actually be tall. 
Well, I, and I like to imagine that, you know, this person is building a house for, like, the person that I imagine living here has been, they have been working really hard all their life to be able to for, afford a really, really nice home, and this is their first opportunity at being able to afford one. And, you know, they have kids, granted how many, I'm not entirely sure of, but they definitely have kids, um, which is why they'll be on this side of the house. Because, you know, parents don't want to be right next to the kids. <laughs> want to have a little bit of space, you know. <laughs> but this is their, this is the house that they've always dreamed of building. And now they finally have the opportunity to, through me. Oh, I should probably put this on the inside here. This, this I put in here from my own sanity as a wife, <laughs> because I don't know about anybody here who, who has a, at least a partner. Um, if they go into the bathroom and their partner goes at, you know, like, let's say you're just quickly, you know, putting out some makeup or you're taking a shower or something. And then your partner comes in and they have to go and take a number two. And then they stink up the whole bathroom. So this is my little sanity of, of wifiness that I have learned over the years. All right, so let's see. The master bath has two sinks, a him and a her sink. And one's over here and one is over there. Let's see. Definitely want a nice counter space. That was exactly where I needed it to. Let's see. And because, you know, I'm either thinking like a white countertop or like a very black countertop. This could be really. Ooh, maybe white and black? Mm, no. Oh, you know what? Or we could do like maybe a really dark brown. That's an idea. A really nice dark brown. Not that one. Almost like that color. Almost. Maybe not that counter. I don't like that either. Oh, you know what? This is an idea and then it kind of actually goes with the tile all around. Kind of, not really. Actually, I take that back. It's okay, though. Oh, I like that. That's pretty. Yeah, and then we can, like, an end part. Yeah, that could be really cute. I like that. And then we'll just do the same thing on the other side. Oh, it should be the other side. Side. I feel like this would be her side and this would be his side. Just saying. <laughs> Put in some sinks, though. Oh, you know, I don't know what it is about those sinks. I've always wanted one. Don't know why, I've just always wanted one. Big old glass bowls. Oh, 
Oh, you know what? I like that better. That in black. Oh, that looks so much better there. Oh, I really like that. That's super pretty. Okay. So, put in a mirror. We'll work on her side of the sink. She's going to need a big mirror. That would do it. This one. Oh, that's so cute. I didn't realize I downloaded that. You know, this reminds me of like the windows, not the windows, the mirrors that a family member of mine owned. They could still own, I have no idea. Kind of like in this one though. Ooh, that's one. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Just because it spans that entire space. I think. I feel like. Kind of want a long one, but not too long. I don't know if I like that too much. Maybe not quite that big. I don't like that one either. Nope. Oh my goodness, that's big. Okay. That could work. Let's see how they look together, though. No, I don't think I like that at all. What do you think, chat? I don't think I like it at all. I think that that is perfect for her side, but I wish there was a similar mirror for the other side, but maybe smaller. Well, you know what we could do? <clears throat> yeah, not a big fan. You have to remember the... Oh, that was I know there's a way it's smaller. Don't remember how. <laughs> ah, okay. It's not shrinking though. That's weird. Okay, so we're gonna have to find something else that could, that could go there. Maybe move the door a little more. Just not messing with anything over here. Yeah, I'm still not a big fan of that. Okay, so sh we might have to go with a different mirror on that side. Now she may not like it, but for the sake sake of aesthetics. Okay, now they both have the same mirror. And that looks a little better. No, we could always just give her like a big old vanity in here, maybe. Or maybe more so in this uh walk in walk in closet that we're gonna there. Yeah, not a big fan. It's also super dark in there. We need something to lighten up. Yeah, I, I, good point. Good point. I just haven't gotten to the lights yet. 
Let's see. Lighting. King of lights around. Oh, I like that. When I like it in the white, too. Then I feel like there's too much lighting. Because there's too much light. Light fixtures. There's something that gives off more light. Oh, that's a really good call. I like that for right above the mirrors, though. I like that for right above the mirror, but maybe ceiling lights above the Kind of ceiling lights. I don't know if I like that too much. Maybe these little saucer lights might do better here. Yeah, I like this, those ones a lot better and it brightens it up so much better. Decorations and of course lots of clutter. Lots and lots of clutter. Oh, you know what? I did download those things. I wonder if any kitchen. Now that I'm sitting. really like that. I think the kitchen so far is like my favorite part of this entire build. Back, at, back in here. Stop getting distracted, Rainy. Okay. Lots of laundry and outside stuff. I don't feel like the people who live here, like, they may love plants, but I don't feel like they're really big into, um, I don't feel like they're really, like, big into, like, gardening and stuff. They probably hire, like, a landscaper to actually, like, take care of their lawn. Gotta have the bathroom supplies for your bathtub. You say that like having a landscaper is a bad thing. It's not a bad thing to have a landscaper. If just given the opportunity, like it's another symbol of luxury for me. Every girl reads 
while she's taking a bath, I swear. Um, I am one of those girls. No, it's just more like, um, like, for, if that's, you know, what totally suits your fancy, that's awesome. It's just, like, for me, specifically, um, I would just like to take care of my own garden, if that makes sense. Like, I want to take care of everything. <clears throat> Granted, is it going to be absolutely possible for me to? Probably not. It's, it's an idea for someone who has never owned a house my whole life and has only ever rented like one house so like it's nice of me to say but how am i gonna actually feel when i actually own a house i do i want to have my hands in the dirt that's why i have all of my plants because <laughs> i love plants and i want to have my hands in there and i want to actually like feel like i'm growing what's actually there instead of just having someone come and take care of it for me um for instance um you know like when we went to when i was at my dad my mom and dad's house um and adr was there we had my dad has been growing and i think it's like a bunch of avocado plants that he has grown but this particular one we were putting in the ground um was an avocado plant that he had grown and I just got down and started like actually putting the avocado plant in the ground, making sure like I got into the roots and gave it some air before we put it in. And of course, ADR is reminding me like, hey, you don't like pack it in too much. You know, it's got to breathe air. <laughs> but like, I'd, I'd like to be able to do that. <clears throat> I don't know if that makes me weird. color of that. I'll keep it that far. Black there. He's silently cursing his wife for wanting to have the bigger one. <laughs> Ooh, and like put this bottom that works. But I will ask you all the same question I asked a friend a good friend of mine the other night when I was in his stream. How will you know you have made it in life? At what point will you sit back and go, I've made it? And now as far as what I mean by I've made it, that's entirely up to you. Just what in your life would constitute as I made it? I know for me, I will, when I can say that, is when I can finally sit down and take a breath. And just take a really nice, long breath. When I no longer have to work myself to the bone, when I have an actual weekend off consistently. Yeah, same. Eventually, we'll get there. We'll get to that point. I have, especially you ADR, I have no, no reservations thinking that you're going to be getting there and probably very shortly. Yeah. 
I don't know if that's my favorite part of any build. The plants. I'm excited to get to that point in life. Eventually. I'll go up there. Other plant? That's could be cute. So same spot. Oh, that's super. Cute. I like that. Yeah, I like that. I like that quite a bit. Okay, now we need to put the potty in here. A potty here. I know exactly if I could find it. I know exactly what I'm I wish they had a little poopery bottle you could put on top. <laughs> yes, same. <laughs> we had the opportunity to actually um, utilize a, a poopery in real life because I've only ever seen them like on the TV. Our good friend um, and his his family. They had one in their bathroom, and I swear they put it in there from the last time we went over there. And right before we left, Croton had to uh, go to the bathroom, and he stuck up their entire bathroom, and I felt so bad. And and like because he stuck up their bathroom, it eventually like stunk up the whole house, and I was so embarrassed. It was so bad. So the next time we came over, they had this bottle of uh, poopery. <laughs> <laughs> and I swear that's why they bought it. They denied it though. They denied that that was why they bought it. There is nothing that they could say to convince me otherwise. Why does that keep getting out of me? There we go. I mean, that was a big coincidence, wasn't it? <laughs> I thought so. I like the place for that. They were swearing up and down. No, no, no. That's not why we got it. And I'm sitting over there like, mm-hmm. That's exactly why you got it. I kind of want to put, like... How old? Like another one, right? Now I'm looking for a magazine that I'm pretty sure I downloaded. If I didn't, I will be very sad. 
I'll put it on the outside of the wall. You mean this one? That? Yeah, I like that. Although I don't like the placement of it exactly, because I'm a stickler. There you go. Awesome. I find this magazine. It's perfect when the when the person is done. They just reach around the wall to get it, and it won't get wet in the shower. That's a good point. That is a good point. If I could just find this magazine. Yeah. It's got to be in here somewhere. Oh, with this little girl that my son has become friends with, he has developed his first real crush on her and it is so adorable to watch he's sitting there getting all bashful and he's running around like uh because my son being a, a normal seven-year-old loves sonic to pieces and so he runs around the house like he's sonic so he he invited her over for dinner and he got so he was super he was super nervous he comes up to me he goes mommy he goes i really want to invite her over for Dinner. can we invite her over for dinner and i was like i don't know what did your father say so he goes to uh croton and croton is like well i don't mind if you don't mind and i said i don't mind so he went to go ask her over for dinner and he was like um because her name is ava he goes ava would you like to have dinner with me and 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 he literally goes like this and he goes and and sit next to me while we eat dinner like my mom and dad and it was so cute because then he she's like yeah i'll come let me go ask uh my babysitter and he goes and uh, she goes and goes and asks the babysitter and he comes back and he's like mom she said yes i know it is so adorable I'm dying picturing the cuteness. It was just the most adorable, adorable thing that happened. And he's just so, like, smitten with her. So today comes, and she comes and she knocks on the door. And uh, Croton was having a talk with, with Connor, our oldest. And was sitting, you know, because he's going to be starting aftercare. Since my schedule is likely going to be changing starting next week. So in preparation for that, we got him enrolled in aftercare. And... Uh, we were having a discussion with him, and she comes and she she knocks on the door, and she's a little older than him. She's eight, and it's so funny because she's like, "Oh, we have the same like day birthday," and I was like, "What do you mean?" And she goes, "Well, Connor's birthday is October twenty fourth," and I'm like, "Yeah," and she goes, "My birthday is February twenty fourth," and I was like, "Oh, so you're a little older than him?" And she goes, "Yeah, I'm older than him." And I was like, oh, you sweet thing. You're so cute. <laughs> They're just sitting there next to each other. And so they had dinner again with each other tonight. They were so cute. He's sitting there blushed in. And he's kind of like going and moving around. Because my son has ADHD. Like I do. And, oh, here it is. Good bit bigger than what I wanted. There we go. So, she comes over again for dinner tonight. And he's like, Mom, I don't really want, you know, Elena and Leon, our, our other two kids, I don't really want them, you know, by us. I want it to just be the two of us. And I was like, oh? And he's like, yeah, Mom, you know, I just kind of want to sit with her. And I was like, okay, you know, we can make that happen. And she is so cute. And watching him get super flustered over her is just the most adorable thing. I don't know if you've ever had, like, if you remember even, like, who your first crush could have been. Make it light colored, all your stuff is so dark. <laughs> if 
if you've ever had like a crush or like you know your first like very innocent you know crush of who that was but it's adorable watching him it's really dark i feel like the bathroom this bathroom is a cave you really do you really think so Can put the pictures up. Actually, I don't think I can put pictures. Oh, I can put a picture here. A picture right here. Yeah, we'll do that. See if that makes it look a little better. I'm not ready for my son to grow up. I'm not really ready for any of my kids to grow up. He was the son of one of my mom's. Oh, wait. My first boy, my first crush that I can remember was a boy named Corey. He was the son of one of my mom's friends. I was about a year older than him. Yeah, I remember him. Very vaguely, though, do I remember him, but I do remember. Oh, so cute. I'm just really not ready for him to grow up and he's i feel like he's just growing up so fast like one day i i woke up and in the blink of an eye now he's seven where did this time go and why did he have to grow up so fast let me scale that down a little bit Like that. Maybe put like on there. Find any Australia. And when my daughter gets to be that age, oh my goodness. Crone is going to have himself a handle. Anyone else remember their first crush? <laughs> I like that too. Put that down. That's too, too big. Too small, I mean. I don't know that would look nice there. I feel like that'd be too like awkward of a of a spot for that. Yeah, I feel like that's definitely too too weird of a spot for it. Although I like that. Oh, you know what? Maybe we could put it over here. Yeah, I like that better. quite a bit. Hopefully it doesn't look more like a cave still. <laughs> Maybe put like a... Let's scale that down a little bit. Tiny bit. one right there. I saw Franz appearing through one wall. Yeah, yeah, it's there. Um, it's gonna happen that way. It's because I'm using um, a particular cheat, but I can't, I can't exactly get rid of them. I haven't, if there's a way to do it, I haven't figured out how to do it yet. But yeah. It's just right there. They are ghost plants. <laughs> that they are. That they are. See if I can get everywhere. Not a plant. A uh, picture right there. Oh, you know what? I really like these. Can 
Birds of prey. I've never actually seen a bird of prey. I know they exist, I've just never seen one. I need to, to get more curtains. I don't have enough. And some of these, they may look small, right? They may look like they're small, but they are not. They're actually pretty big. Like in this picture, you think, oh, that's going to be really, really tiny. No, it's big. That's a big, big one. White. Oh, at least not covering the whole thing. Yeah, I like that quite a bit. I'll probably do this, this one. But that's covering up the whole thing. like that although i wish i could make this come down a little bit last i can add so i do like that though i do like that quite a bit especially with the plants right next to it All right, so this one is the master closet right in here. Now, what color to make it? What colors would you put in a master closet? And in my normal builds, I do them where the master closet, or at least the closet itself, right, is attached to the bedroom. So then I just kind of continue everything from, like, the colors and stuff from the bedroom into the closet. But I can't do that here. Well, you won't see most of it because of the clothes will cover most through. So I could put, like, a white paint in here. Maybe like a carpet. Well, no, I don't think you'd want a carpet in in it because you might have the chance of water from like here. So maybe hardwood floor instead. But no, water would damage the hardwood floor. Hmm. It definitely damaged tile. Tile could work. Oh, what kind of tile? Oh, I cannot wait to use this. I think that is so cool. Need to plan for when I do that. See? Maybe that? An idea. Oh, and maybe a mirror so they can see how the clothes look. Ooh, that's a good idea. Oh, I like that. So we could put like the mirror maybe, ooh, like have a right here. Have like stuff lining all around. Yeah, that could work. Have to be a full length mirror. The one time I think it's like a big mirror. <laughs> and it's a small one. It doesn't help that it says like morning glory full length mirror. <clears throat> 
There we go. That's a mirror. Ooh, I like that one, especially since it has like a light behind it. Yeah, I like that quite a bit. All right. Look at you go, ADR. You could do this in no time at all. Although something Croton and I always said if we ever had the opportunity to build a house is we wanted a coffee bar. Well, funny thing about coffee bars, now that we don't have one, nope, I have a terrible eye for design. <laughs> now that we don't, we don't drink coffee at all, we only drink tea. So now we said that if we ever had the opportunity to build, instead of a coffee bar, we are going to build a tea bar. Yes, a tea bar. And so what I really want to have, and there was a great um, thing that was in here somewhere. But basically what I want to have is like a stand of different like bags of tea or maybe even different jars of tea. So that way we could just scoop the tea leaves into, you know, the thing so it can brew and steep actually say but it was somewhere i kept seeing it here it is right here It looks just like this and I would love something like that but for like my tea bar and I want to have like this really really nice kettle that would go um that would go like onto the coffee bar so that way I could have hot water and it would just be wonderful and I could have like my lemons and honey and all the good stuff Although I did tell myself after, um, because I fell in love with a streamer, her name is Tazzy, Tazkabaz. If you are not following her, I highly recommend it as well. <clears throat> but she drinks chai tea and lots of chai tea. So I told myself if I ever had the opportunity to, I would absolutely try it. I'm supposed to be over here. Find something more source of outside here we go. Next time you go to an Indian restaurant, order their chai. I could definitely have to do that. I'm not a huge fan, but I know other people who love it. Yeah, I, you know, and she's like one of the only people I've ever met personally that absolutely adores chai tea that way. But I told, I told myself if I had the opportunity, I would definitely give it a try. I heard cinnamon. She's around here somewhere. Any more? No? Okay. That's fine. Have to get... Professor. 
Oops. Now I don't want it to be too big. Oh, I like that. Oh wait, that's too that's too tall. I don't want that. Yeah, I definitely. I'd more so be concerned with how in the world they got it into this area to begin with. That's such a tight squeeze, there'd be no way to actually get in there. Oh, I like that one. And it's conceivable that could, they could get it in there. <clears throat> Are the clothes? Oh, right. Oh, oh. Yeah, that could work. And then have the full right there. Yeah, and can put his like shoes here. That way, it's at the back. See. And for the shoe, there we go, shoe rack. have it like yeah it makes it look like one long one there you go now he has a his and her back although in reality there'd probably be like shelves upon shelves of her I feel like there should be a picture right here some kind of painting. Oh, that's so pretty. Angle. I'm not sure I like that. I like that. Really pretty. I like that quite a bit. <clears throat> nice, we're getting quite a bit accomplished. All right, so let's see. We'll work on see this room, which is the laundry room. It looks like the washer and dryer are here, and then they have a counter and that goes all the way over. That goes right here, and then we have a washroom sink right there. So let's go get the appliances first. Actually, you know what? Take that back. I need to think of colors for this. 
So I'm thinking it's going to be a continuation of basically in here. For this hallway space. Because that just makes sense to me. In reality, right? Because I don't know how to do it. But this area right here is supposed to be an actual, like, garage. So it's supposed to be, like, a two-port carport with a covered porch right here. But it just didn't make any sense to me with how, like, The Sims is in itself to have a carport back here because there is this, you know, just in this particular lot, there is this, like, picnic area, and it just didn't make any sense. It didn't make sense to me to have that there. So I changed it from a two car port to just like an extended covered porch. Let's get the appliances. Let's see what colors. Probably just white or black. We had sink. I don't see any other sinks. Well, so then we put counter over here. I'm thinking of like using this down space here for an advantage. Gotta have the laundry detergent. <clears throat> oh, you wouldn't be able to open the drawers with that shoe rack there. Oh, you know what? I didn't think about that. You're absolutely right about that ADR. Huh. Why would we think about that then? Well, so maybe we. that out I think that's how it's gonna have to be. I don't think so how it will work any way. Oh, you know what? I got yeah, the laundry room. I forgot I had the laundry room jars in here. For aesthetic purposes. Yeah, that way you can see what one is in which. Yeah. 
and a second. Anything else we could put? I know what I want to put on the bottom of it. Now, I really like this, but I just... That would be really nice for in an office. That's not quite what I'm looking for. What's that being? And there's one. Okay, so I'm in the right area now. Laundry hamper. Gotta have a laundry hamper. Although in my house, in my house, it would not end up in this laundry hamper. Where all the clothes would end up in actuality is in the one would be in the bathroom, right? The other would be in the eventual building of this bathroom over here because my kids for whatever weird reason like to they're, they're just like their father and they love to get dressed in the bathroom but then they leave their clothes all over the floor and it drives me insane like why why do this to me you crazy children They kill me with it, I swear. It's like they're secretly planning my demise. Like, hmm, how can we drive mommy mad today? And they do try their best. Let's see. Get some. Oh, you know what? It would probably be better. Let me put in this area though. Well, you know what? What we'll do is we'll put this here. Put these on top of the washer. Right? And then I'll find some clothes and put them right there. That's an idea. Now I just need to find some some folded clothes. I know there is some. Just gotta find it. Oh, hold on, just gotta answer this. Back to this. So Croton, my my poor Croton, has been working so, so hard lately. He's been on, he works as an apprentice electrician. And he's just been working so hard every single day. Back-breaking work that I personally could never do. So hats off to him that he can do that. And a never-ending amount of love. Because he does it. <clears throat> um, 
he has been so tired lately and has been working and doing his best to make sure that like I've been taken care of because I've been feeling a lot of anxiety and granted like some of my other co-workers we've all been feeling this huge overwhelming amount of anxiety because they basically told us uh, at the beginning of the month that they were completely getting rid of our department and because the company I work for essentially the work we uh although we work for a specific company but we're outsourced to clients right and we work with those specific clients and doing different lines of businesses with the clients and you know, some towels right here and some shirts and so we've all been kind of just sitting there going well what are we gonna what are you guys gonna have us do what are we doing in general and of course there's been like and a silly amount of radio silence on their ends and it's caused a lot of anxiety with all of us so curtain has been doing his best to you know not only do this like physical manual labor that's like backbreaking work and then he's coming home and trying to like help me with the kids and he's trying to help me because i usually work until uh 6 30 at night which is why of course stream starts at 8 30. but he tries his best to you know cook dinner and then take care of the kids and then make sure that like i'm okay with all of this like craziness that's going on and he's just been an absolute rock star like, i cannot sing his praises enough and mostly i could say this because he's not watching so ha 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 but apparently he uh, just woken up because he he fell asleep right after dinner on the couch. The poor thing. I felt so bad. Oh, another container? What's this? Oh, that's a big, wow, that's a big container. Oh, hi, Crowen. <laughs> um, I wasn't um hi, how are you? I didn't realize you you had decided to, you know, pop up. But hi, how are you? I hope you sleep went well. I love you. Mwah. I'm just going to go into the corner of shame and hide forever. You guys are losing me. Um, bye. Chair is now in charge of the stream. Goodbye. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm getting back up, I promise. But of course, I might fall back asleep, though. I mean, if you did, I really would not... I would not be upset. You definitely deserve the rest, my love. <clears throat> but yeah, I've been working super hard, and he fell asleep. Poor thing. <laughs> you tried. <laughs> I did try. It was unsuccessful, but I tried. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, Croton, since you are here, we have made some stunning top tier progress on this build. So this is the bathroom. We finished it. This is the walk-in closet. Walk-in closet, yeah, the walk-in closet. Goodness, Randy. The walk-in shower. The big old jet tub. Um, his sink. Her sink. The little tiny stall of hottiness. We have right here the walk-in closet which we put a nice big mirror right here lots of shelves we have a dresser in here 
clothes, all the good stuff. Shoe rack right there. And we're currently working on the um, laundry room. So it's coming along. We're doing really good here. I'm just trying to make sure I got everything I wanted for this, for this room. Oh wow, y'all have been y'all have been moving along. Yes, we have. We've been we've been over here working hard. We've only been live for an hour and a half. Hi there. How are you, Cloud? I, I'm assuming it's good to call you Cloud. Welcome to the garden. Um, my name is Renicula. You can call me Rani. I am a variety here, streamer here on Twitch, and it's great to have you here. If you would like to chat, that's totally cool. Or if you would like to just kind of sit back and lurk, that is absolutely great too. I just appreciate that you're here. But welcome on in. Let's see what else we can find for this room. I love decorative items. I need to download more CC. Although Croton will probably have my hide if I do that. <laughs> because I spent probably about a good um, two weeks, I want to say, just doing nothing but like looking through upon files upon files and files of CCs from any different creators. Uh, you can you can call me anything you want to be honest. So getting used to this new name so calling me cloud is nice lol <laughs> if you have you know a preferred like name that's totally cool but i do like cloud let's see do you play the sims at all and if so do you build or do you more so like gameplay Now, I like this laundry basket, but I don't think it's going to work well in, in the now. Oh, you know what? We could put this in here. This is technically utility. Creepy, but okay. I'd like to put something here. I'm thinking maybe a plant. But I feel like at the same time, like being in a laundry room, it would kill the plant. <clears throat> I like that, that basket. Let's see. I think that's about all we're gonna find for this room. Definitely need more, more CC to download. That's probably what I'll likely do tomorrow since we're not allowed to do anything at work. So essentially right now I'm being paid to just sit there and do nothing. They told us that we're not allowed to take any tickets from the queues and we're just supposed to just kind of sit there until this new change takes effect. Because we are contractually obligated to work our 40 hours. But they also said we're not allowed to take tickets, so. I'm trying to look at it as like a free vacation. Uh, I usually use Sims to be my wind down game whenever I'm done playing whatever fast paced thing my friends invite me to for the day, lol. And really, you can call me Zach. Okay, Zach, that works. And today, I'm I'm honestly not feeling like the best of the best, so my throat kind of hurts. So I figured like a nice wind down chill game would be good for today. I was playing a lot of Lost Ark though. Uh, oof, no more tickets, lol. We love that recent change you guys are going through that I've heard about. Zach, like, like Zach, Zach. Yeah, Zach Zach, okay. 
breaker of chains. Okay, I know, I know, I know who you are now. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize that was your name here on, on, on Twitch. Okay. Well, nice to see you here. Welcome on in. Yep, no more tickets. We're not allowed to work out. And it's crazy because I'm watching, like, the queue go up and up, up and up. And, like, the internals that are working directly for the client. They're not even working these tickets at all. So I'm, like, watching as the tickets pile up. So I think right now, before I left, uh, the ticket queue is at like 30. I always look, but felt like being social for once. Oh, well, I'm really glad. Love that name description. <laughs> Thank you for always looking. I really appreciate it. I'm not finding anything else in here. Okay, we'll move on to the next room. Oh, it's my full name, Zach Cloud Skull Breaker of Chains. <laughs> I like that. Oh, you know what I said I wanted to do? I wanted to put something on the walls here. Because I just feel weird not having something on the wall right there. I cannot wait. I need to just get this build over with so I can start on the steampunk build. I need to build it. Just look at that. That's so cool. Like putting that on the wall and like this on the wall and like, ah, oh, God, I can't, I can't. I just, I gotta move forward. Move forward, Rani. Move forward. Oh, elegance is not standing out, but being remembered. Oh, that's so cute. Put that right there. Let's see. <clears throat> Coffee bar. Needs to say tea bar now. Kind of like nervous for what I'm going to be working and doing now mostly because none of us was expecting this this change but although um i guess the client that i'm working for is downsizing so it seems like they're taking everything back and working it directly for themselves which is fine you know we'll watch that burn from afar yeah i don't find anything more. Which stinks because I actually fell in love with the with the actual company. Uh, let's see. Now we're in the hall. We could work on the storage area. Or we could work on the coat. This coat room. <clears throat> and then we could work on the patio space. Downsizing more like down bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Consider it, yeah. I, you know, it's so, it's bad because they, and, and I love the, I love the client, but they were honestly screwing me and not even in the best way. So I had to not only train the entire team, save for one person, um, on the team, because I had no choice, but... I didn't even get paid for it. Stink. Stinks, but whatever. Um, and then when they came out and said, hey, we're downsizing, you know, so we're going to take this and work it internally. I had to train the people that were taking my job. And of course, not getting compensated for that. And of course, the, how they're getting away with it is that they're calling it shadowing. <clears throat> they didn't even know anything about about the client, not a single thing, and it really infuriated me. Because why hire people if they don't even 
whatever. I mostly just feel bad for this. I'm not even angry at them, to be quite honest. I'm not. It's more like I'm sad and at the opportunity. They forced me to go to this particular line of business and then didn't um they didn't like they didn't even tell us that they were taking it away really so it's more just like i'm sad i'm sad for the missed opportunity but my team lead says to me that, you know, just because one door closes, another door will open and something good will come out of this. So I'm trying to keep that in heart. I have a great amount of respect for my team, so. I, you know, this is supposed to be a closet and I just don't, I don't see how this is going to work. I, I was getting things. Must be like a coat closet. And I guess most of these thoughts are just coming from a place of hurt. Is really where it's coming out of. See. I probably won't find anything in there. That could work. That's more like a closet y kind of thing. Ah, oops. Yeah, that could work. I need to find some more CC for like closet type of stuff. I need to write that down somewhere. Closet. That way I can remember that for later. I definitely want to get some more stuff for that. Let's see. Is there anything else that I might want to? Umbrella stand. You know, I would put that in here, but um, I don't have. I didn't get that particular pack. So there's a pack called Seasons, and that's part of that pack. I wanted to put it like right here next to the door, maybe like right there, but. I just don't have that particular pack, so I can't put it in here. Like the whole laundry room area is is part of a different pack that I did get. <clears throat> it's so tiny. Let's see. And this makes me really wish I had like a different pack. It's called um um it's like a dust pack and it comes with like different vacuum cleaners and stuff so i wish i could put like a vacuum cleaner in here because that would really make this feel more like a closet to me yeah i like that a lot Excuse me. Yeah, 
Carolyn Hubert. This lovely police couple will brighten up any detective's office. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, I think that's about all we could put in here for the moment. I think as I get more packs eventually for The Sims, I'll kind of like go back over to different um, builds that I've done and add those few choice things that I said I wanted to. Alright, and I think we'll do the storage area next. Let's see, a storage area. What would the colors in a storage area? Because this is a, an entire storage. This is a huge storage area. Why would you want something so big for your storage? I guess for all like the Christmas decorate. You know, actually, that's a good that's a good thought to have for like all the Christmas and Halloween seasonal decorations. Now it makes me want the seasons pack even more. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Eventually, I will get that pack and bring it in, and then I will be able to fill this whole entire place up with stuff. Ha ha ha. Although I can, I think I can add like a Christmas tree. Oops, I'm almost out of tea. That's never a good thing. Definitely not carpet. Well, you know what? We could do like, um,. Linoleum. I don't know anybody that honestly likes linoleum. If you happen to know anybody that does, I would love to meet them because I just cannot imagine a single person that actually likes linoleum for their floors. I feel like that's such a weird thing but like actually croton you've been in a lot of a lot of houses and is that something that's common do people like linoleum let me know Ooh, i like that color but i don't like the floor with it put sand in here Nah, it's usually put put in upon being built and then people renovate away from it. Oh really? Okay. That's good to know. I don't like that either. I was thinking, you know, concrete for this, but maybe not. I really like the color though. Hydrate. Thank you, Croton. Yes, I need. I'm literally like out of tea. I should probably like take a break and make some more tea. <laughs> if you haven't already, go ahead and take yourself a hydrate. Get something to drink. <clears throat> uh, I think the only thing we could put in here is maybe like stone. Who would put stone in there? I can't even see like masonry thing. So I think what we're stuck with is just more wood. Yeah, I think wood is gonna be our best bet here. I don't like that with that. I have to change it. I don't want more white. And I guess we have no choice. Also, I also do not understand why in this particular build they had to have two doors like this. That just seems so weird to me. Why have two doors going out like that? I guess if you have something big in there. But you think it'd be like put in the box. Oh well, what do I know? I'm not a homeowner yet. Bad face. 
I will get there one day. Actually, my team lead bought a house and I'm super excited for him and his partner. And I'm so, so, so excited. So excited for them. He's been like going through this process and he's been like sharing the process with me and it's like super nice to hear about it and like the struggles like he's had to go through with getting like big boy purchases <clears throat> as we both have come to call it. <laughs> um, but he he's been going through this whole thing and it's been like this has like been an issue and like that's been an issue and like really opening my eyes to the whole like home buyer experience and I don't know how he has has done it and continued to work the crazy hours they make him do the poor man and maybe that is where they store lawn supplies you know that's a good that's a good thought I've been sitting here thinking like what in the world could I put in here Go search through. I'm just really glad that like things have started like looking up for him. Honestly, I feel like this entire year, really like the last two years, has been very stressful on him. On coffee. Oh, oh, that's super cool. Actually, that would work well in like a coffee bar kind of area. <clears throat> but I told I told my team lead he needs to take a lot of breaks and just like relax and take some time to remember that the job is not everything. And actually, I think he's been he took that that conversation to heart and has been taking a lot more like time away. You could just kind of sit back and relax. I don't want it in white though. Why is it? I have some other boots. Oh, no. Gardening for your decor boots. Just gardening boots. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see. Not make that. There we go. Okay, this is starting to come together. ADR, you are a genius. Watch your head's gonna swell. Okay. I really like that. Yeah, I really like that. See what else we could find in here. I've downloaded. Ooh, I like that. We could put that in the in here. There though. I like that right there. Awesome. See what happens when I'm sitting here just scrolling through it, looking for nothing at all. <laughs> You're welcome, ADR. And 
Now I wish I could have like a lawnmower. I wonder if they have like CC for lawnmowers. You know, I should look for that. CC. Lawnmowers. Have that mentally written down for later. So I can sit here and search for it. Pile of crates. That's a big pile of crates if I do say so myself. Goodness. That's a huge pile of crates. <laughs> Why would you want to have that? That's um, this area. Maybe in this place, basket. I still wish I would have gotten that high key, which if we would have gotten that rat. So my neighbor, um, she bought a feeder rat for her snake. And the snake, if she left this, the rat in the cage for too long before like the snake was ready to eat. And I guess the snake, what, what caused her to think that is the snake started shedding, which I guess means that the snake was not ready to eat. So... She has, she has this feeder mouse that she can't do anything with. And she asked a, a people who were just walking around if they wanted a feeder mouse. Well, feed a rat. And I was high-key thinking about getting this, this rat. But after talking to ADR about it, thought maybe it might not actually be a good idea. And of course, the final, you know, stake in it was um, <clears throat> Croton saying no. No, we can't get we can't get the rat. But still high key want that rat. What made me think of it as far as the bird cage is because I was talking to her and was talking to her about different, you know, ways we could have temporarily until we bought like an actual better cage for it was like a bird cage. And I thought that was so weird. Like why would you put a rat in a bird cage? If you did not know, I have three cats, so they would have a lot of fun with the rat. Would not be good for the rat. Especially since two of my cats were previously feral. Well, I mean, technically they still are, I guess. But they would immediately pounce on him in a heartbeat. See, there's the holiday tree I was telling you about. I knew I saw one. <clears throat> Still kind of wish we got the rat. I only said no because cats. Yeah, I know. And you, and you know, it's another mouth to feed, and the cats, and the kids are very, very rough on everything, which is natural. They're kids. Can't fault them for that. But our daughter <laughs> looked at Croton and was just like, please, daddy, please, can we get the rat? And I forget what she said she wanted to name the rat. But it was like an actual, like, really good name that made um, both Croton and I kind of sit back and go, well, maybe, you know, she might actually, like, do well with the rat. But ultimately, we said no. It was a no. What is this? Oh, it's a kitchen. Yeah, I think that's all we're going to be able to put in this room. I think we did good on it, though. I think we could put anything else in here. I mean, it is just for storage. The only other thing I would want to quote-unquote put in here is, like, a lawnmower 
whether that's a riding or a push lawnmower. Maybe it's like, maybe a week or, I don't know. But we're doing great so far. We've got like half the house done. I'm super happy. We've done great. Shout out to us. Shout out to us. We did awesome. Big three, two bedroom house. This is, this is looking great. All right. So I think we'll start working on... I think we'll start working on the bedroom. Over here. <clears throat> now they call this uh, bedroom three. This is a closet. Um, this is a bathroom and let's see, closet, and they called this L. I'm not entirely sure what L is though, honest. And I'm using an actual like building blueprint to build this entire thing. So trying to read this has been extremely difficult. But yeah, this is like L. What if it means like for laundry? This doesn't make any sense to me. Why you put laundry here considering there's an entire laundry room over there? I don't know, Kurt. What do you think? Linen covered? Oh. You know what? That's that's prob actually probably exactly what it is, considering it's right next to a bathroom. And then this is bedroom two. So we just have the this section of the house to do. So we'll get started on this room. Um, let's see. Now we have to ask ourselves a question here. Is this the people that live here? Do they have small children or do they have big children? Hi, Keith, my personal thoughts. Go ahead and feel free to like post your thoughts in chat, but I'm thinking like, maybe they have a baby, and maybe they have, like, a child. Yeah, I'm thinking that's exactly what it is. I feel like they would have, um, a baby here, and, like, the actual child here. I really love this house so far. It's not my aesthetic kind of house. As far as what I personally would love in a house. But it is pretty. I've told Croton that if he has the opportunity to build my dream house. That he will. And it's just going to be like a big cottage. Kind of house. With an entire wrap around porch. Big or toys would be all over the living room. <laughs> Yeah, big old wraparound porch. I'll actually probably at some point build my dream house here in The Sims. Maybe when I get a little better at building. But you know what? For my my second house that I've built in on a P on the PC versus like on the PlayStation where I was playing originally, I think I think I'm doing really well. Although I know there's a lot of tips and tricks to the trade. So let's work on this room. Stop getting shocked at Granny. So we'll probably want carpet in here. Also, because of a TikTok that I saw one day, I told Croton that I... Weird request, I know, but I really want green carpet in the bedroom, which is probably what led me to this, to this weird decision here. 
mostly it was because it was um and I, I really wasn't paying attention to the girl in the room but I loved the fact that she had like this green carpet and it looked like grass green um and then she had white walls but she had like ivy that was like around lights that went down the ivy went down the string of lights that went all around the room and I just thought that was absolutely beautiful. Just my thought, though. Weird request, I know. Let's see, so a baby room. I feel like I'd want to put it as like a neutral color. So that way, whatever like baby they have, it wouldn't really matter. And this one, since I feel like it would be another kid, I don't think this theme all would work. Much of the Oh, that's so cute. Actually, I might put that in there. So cute. I don't know. I kind of like the dinosaur theme. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, this is... I think we'll keep that. Oh, we could do some. Yeah, that'd be cute. Actually, I like that a lot better. Okay, we'll stick with that. So let's go back up here. Uh, oh, but let's see, neutral color. Oof, don't like that at all. But I kind of like that. Yeah, I kind of like that quite a bit. My mom has white walls all throughout her house. And, like, that's great that works for her house. You know, no shame in that. But I just cannot stand white walls everywhere. Like, even in a lot of respect, like, the fact that so many walls here are white up in the kitchen all the way over is kind of driving me insane and like it's great that that works for for my parents but it's insane let's see let's look for here let's just get, um i probably fine no looking for Oh, you know what they what I do need to, to find though? I need to find different crates. Because some of the ones that I saw CT cribs. Um one of the cribs that like Taz she put for her her build and it's like a beautiful crib i just i fell in love with it i don't know if she like paid the creator for it or if like it just happened to be for free but it was a beautiful crib and i would love to see if i could find some more cribs and then there's this this then just this basic one which is fine <clears throat> oh that's so cute Makes me miss when my babies were babies. I'm glad not to have to go through that again, but I, I do really miss when they were babies. Let's see, let's see, probably. Something like that for the for the baby. Yes. 
That's a bassinet, not a grit. I know. Probably not necessary. I'm really looking. I'm really sure what I'm looking for. I'd like to put them in this area. Probably put, put, maybe put a rug there. That might be better. Oh yeah, I forgot about this one. I thought it was so funny. It's like a rug of grass. <laughs> I, I thought it was so funny I had to get it. That's cute. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. And it kind of goes with, you know, outside theme. Okay. I think this is, I'm getting an, a better idea for this room. What else do I have in here? Oh, you know what? I didn't even think about rugs for the bathroom. I didn't think about that at all. Colors. Here or maybe like black. Oh, I like the gray. I like the gray a lot. <clears throat> yeah, I like that quite a bit. Okay. We'll keep the guy. I might change it later. Right back in this room. Oh yeah, let's put a monkey bar in here. Uh -huh. Toddler bed blanket. Some of the things I downloaded. I think that's because they came with the pack. I think I need a little bit of hints for me. Look at kids. You look like. Okay, that's not too bad. Stuff. I wish I could have done something like this for my kids. I really do. I think they would have loved to have, like, especially my, my oldest would have loved to have had uh, a race car bed. Although he did get, um, when he was a toddler, he did get a Paw Patrol bed frame, and he loved it to pieces. He he literally slept in that thing until he he could not physically fit into it anymore. And we were like, "Come on, like you've gotta gotta get, you know, we gotta go into a bigger bed." He did not want to give that thing up. Although my youngest. He has fallen in love with uh, Cars, the movie, and so I think he would love, like, a car-themed bed like this. This isn't too bad. Okay, so I have a couple ideas. I could put, like, a plushie right there. I want to make sure it's... Good with the whole. Oh, my daughter would love something like this. My daughter loves unicorns. She was absolutely insane for them, Croton will tell you. And just to, to have something like that. I could 
put the little dresser over here. Ooh, yellow or green? Yeah, I like the green. You can put a little on it. Yeah, that's good. Oh, it was a little panda layup. And, uh, actually, my younger sister gave me a new stuffy. Well, a bunch of new stuffy stuffy. And this is one of the ones she gave me. It's like a panda unicorn. A unipanda, as I think what Kirkman calls it. I just think it's so cute. Yeah, Oh, that's so cute. Oh, and I love it. It looks like it's this little... Oh, gosh. I love it. I need more kid decorative items. I need to remember. You see kid... Go item. Making myself a whole list. So this time I'm not just sitting here flipping through pages and pages and pages. Oh, I can't wait to use that. ADR, wouldn't that look so cool? Like, this is a whole lamp for the steampunk build. I'm getting so hyped about that one. <clears throat> I'm so hyped about that build. I, I cannot even express it. Actually, I should. But like, um, Donna, a little rubber ducky. Oh, it's so cute. Little rubber ducky. I forget what that song is, though, that my mom used to sing with my younger sister. With my younger sister. It's like, um, rubber ducky, rubber ducky, the one. Remember. Ducky River Duck. So much. Oh, that's so cute. It's 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 in the color of a cat. <laughs> Wheels on the bus cut. No. The random things that pop in my head. We're gonna go with the cute one. I like that kitty. Don't be the monster. He's a monster. Can't put it up there? Oh, that's dangerous. No worries. I'm so excited for the steampunk. Yeah, I, I'm gonna look up some uh, blueprints for like good steampunk themed houses. And I'm gonna figure out where I want to put it, ideally. But I know it's gonna be so excited to start it. Okay. Can you imagine, Crone? Our kids would have loved something like this. Although apparently, my my sons, my sons, you know, her, her the, his crush, she has a uh, a slide apparently that he's he's been kind of jealous of.
He's been very jealous of it. I wonder if I can put him up top here. OMG, math scientist lab in basement. <gasps> That's an idea, ADR. Yes, that is an idea, ADR. That is an idea. I like where you're thinking. I like where you're thinking. Don't make the llama game table. <clears throat> I think that's all we're gonna find as far as the baby. Now time for the world. Floating away. Guardian of the Gnome Galaxy. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, well, maybe they play, uh, There we go. <clears throat> so far, I think it's really coming together. I love that thing. It's so cute. I feel like that should be like in a game somewhere. See if we can find a couple in here. There you go. I like that. Oh, and the butterflies. I don't think those colors go well. Go with the white ones though. Well, I guess they're meant to stand out, aren't they? Oh, what do we think of that? I like that. There's a butterfly room. Like that quite a bit. Oh, the aging cop. Oh. oh, my babies. My baby. Why do they have to grow up so fast? I can't like the not really cool. Yeah, 
back of that. Try and make one. That's a really pretty. Oh, ADR, and this could go like on the uh, that could go somewhere down in the basement. The mad scientist. I am getting more and more hyped for that build, to be honest. I don't really want to funny. There we go. Yeah, me too. All right, I think this room is done. We are in these rooms, though. Look at this. Look there. These are going great. We started off, but this room was only like three quarters of the way done. <clears throat> we got the bathroom completely done, the walk in closet done, the laundry room done, the the uh the coat closet the storage area we've got this done now we are making great time on this if i do say so myself but i think i'm going to take a little break here because i think i could really use some more tea and i will be right back with you guys in a few minutes make sure you guys are staying hydrated you guys are getting some snackies and maybe even going potty while i'm gone but i will be right back
Hey there, guys. Ah, see, this time I remembered the mic. <laughs> I'm getting better, I promise. I went and got myself some more herbal tea because that was incredibly needed right now. Good lord, it was needed. It was needed. And I did take some medicine, so my throat feels a lot better. If you did get anything as far as like a snack or a drink, what'd you get? Ooh, very hot. <clears throat> of course it's hot, Rani. I just got finished brewing. I know. I know. I just got finished. <clears throat> oh, you got some nuggies. That's that's nice. I went out there and I checked on Croton, who has since fallen asleep. The poor the poor thing. He is not going to be happy in the morning. Because he had two of the kitties uh, cuddling with him and sleeping on him. So his allergies are about to go insane. You know that man loves you. Or at least your partner, I should say. Loves you when they are willing to allow you to have an animal that they are allergic to. And adamantly allergic to. And still and still have, let you have it. Not that I don't completely understand why he would have said no, but... And it's not even like I can sit here and be like, oh, well, you know, let's go adopt these kitties. No, it was they adopted me. And that's that that is exactly how that happened. Although I wish I could get more kitties, especially since there are, like, kitties around the apartment complex that we live in that I swear are just begging for a home. And I just want all of the kitties. But Croton said no more animals, so... And I, I totally understand. I really do. I'm, I'm not making, trying to make him feel bad for it. I totally understand. We have three kitties as it is. I'm honestly kind of surprised I have not seen one yet. I would have figured, like, my big boy Butters would have been, like, up here trying to, like, fight to get on the keyboard. Because that's where he loves to just sit and lay down, is on the keyboard. Especially when I'm working. Like, I'll sit here and I'll be working tickets and all of a sudden he'll come over and he'll, like, lay on top of the keyboard. So then, like, a whole bunch of, like, random keys will start, will start, like, hitting it. And it just makes me laugh every time. But let's get back into the game. All right. Let's see. So we'll go ahead. Oops. There we go. So the desktop screen. <laughs> My bad. <clears throat> All right. Let's see, let's work on this room. Now, if I could just cut that out of the stream, that would be thing, but I am not that technologically advanced yet. <clears throat> oh, I think I heard one. I think I heard a kitty. Okay. So, we'll make this as neutral as possible, because we don't know. We don't want to assume like who's going to be living in the space. So let's go back to the beds first. I'm thinking that it's like a kid kid, not like a toddler kid, but like a kid kid. This way. Desk right under there. <clears throat> like that. Like that too. 
ADO, since you said you got um, some chicken nuggets, did you happen to get any sauce? And if so, what sauce did you get? Oh, that's so good. Definitely don't want to give a glass table to it. Not, not exactly a good idea. No sauce plane. Okay. <clears throat> really like that. Now I'm I'm high key curious. Are 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 you okay over there? No sauce for your nuts. What? What? I don't know why I like feel the need to work on this particular part right this second, but it's happening. Decoration. Gotta have the tip. Absolutely. Good. good for this space i'm fine i just like plain nuggies oh okay to each their own i personally love to and a good uh friend of mine turned me on to it it's um barbecue sauce and then she would mix ranch in it <clears throat> I just, I don't know, I really love the taste. Before I was like a honey mustard kind of gal. It just... Ew. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It sounds crazy. Like you would think the two of them really don't mix very well, but they do. And it just like is a is a really like interesting, but a really good taste. Especially if you get like, like a hotter kind of um, barbecue sauce. Don't knock it till you try it, food-wise. A <laughs> judgy look. <laughs> like that. That's that. I wish I could just move it. Move it back. So maybe what we'll do is you're gonna just float in the air for a second. Really isn't gonna work else, is it? That could work at all. Oh, you know what? That could work actually. That could work really nicely. Remember ADR, don't knock it till you try it. <clears throat> You'd be surprised. I like the most interesting flavors of food. I at least like to try things once. Like if it's like a no, it's a definite no, then that's totally cool. 
but at least like to try it once. And I like to retry things over certain certain periods of time. Because you never know. You might actually like that item because your taste buds change every few years. So you may hate something really, really bad one day and then love it the next. Asparagus is actually a good, a good shout for that. I used to hate asparagus. Hate it with a passion. Now I love it. Oh, that's so funny, but I wouldn't want that one. Maybe see if there's a different string of put under there. I try lots of things, but still no. Hello. <laughs> you do try lots of things. You do. Which reminds me of that Peruvian restaurant that we went to for uh, ADR's birthday. Such good food. Such good food. There's only one thing I did not like out of that whole experience, which I don't think is too bad. I even got to try beef heart, which I know, I know. If you're sitting there, you've never had it before, you're like, oh my god, what? But it was it was super tender and it was so flavorful. It was really good. I would highly recommend trying it. <clears throat> I would love to go back there actually one day. Proton said that maybe we could go back there one day, one night as a date. I told him we'd have to get a babysitter. Although that's what a lot of uh, the ceviche you didn't like. That's right. That's what it was called. The ceviche did not like it. And, and it really wasn't like the flavor of the ceviche, it was like the texture of the fish that I couldn't get over. I just could not get over it, no matter how hard I tried. Although I know you did say that you tried cricket before, which you hated. You hated cricket. <clears throat> My sister likes to um, travel around if she ever gets the opportunity and she's gone to like a couple different places and like she did this entire like um, tour, tour. But she basically went to like a bunch of different countries in Europe and one of the things that she brought back was this bracelet that is, um, is a four leaf clover from Ireland which I have hanging in my car because I swear I didn't try it. Dad did. Okay. Um, <clears throat> which, um, it's the, the charm is hanging in my chair because in my car, because I swear it brings me good luck. And I've never, ever been into a terrible accident with that in our knock on wood. Um, and I'm just, I swear, there's nothing you can say to convince me otherwise. It smelled, yeah, you said it smelled really bad. It smelled really, really bad. <clears throat> I teased Croton and I said that um, if the opportunity ever arose, I would want to take that there. For nothing else but to try all the food. I think that's about all we're going to find for this little desk. I don't think a kid would have that though. They might actually have like um, a laptop. Yeah, laptop. Be not that expensive. 
I guess there's nothing else. Expensive laptops. Almost 1700 bucks. Goodness. That's expensive. I like that. I like that quite a bit. Like a dip. That would might look good. I think that one was the most like of the bunch. Oh, but you know what? That one goes well with the room color. If you have chat had the opportunity to try something like some kind of food that was crazy and you would like to share, please let me know. I would love to hear like the crazy things that you may have tried before. <clears throat> okay, so we need toys in here. We need dresser. I think I'm putting like a dollhouse right here. Could go with the same like house one. Same. Well, we could like this one instead. For modern life. I like that idea. Modern dog house. You want to try snake? Um, you'll have to let me know how that tastes. <laughs> you are a brave soul, ADR. I don't, I don't think I could. Oh, just the thought terrifies me. That would be... That's super. That was a boss. Oh. Like that. And I love the fact that there's a giraffe and a panda up top. Like, I'm... I'm... <laughs> I love that so much. Let's see if there's a different one. Oh, I like that. I like the panda one better. I like the panda one better. Oh, I forgot to put a light on this. I like that one better. Yeah, I like that one a lot. But it can... We should probably put it in a toy box somewhere. That's right. It's like a regular box. Be fancy. On top of it. Let's see. Oh well. I always feel like somebody's watching me the toys. I always feel like somebody's watching me. The toys are watching you? Mm. 
probably wouldn't hate it when hated it when I had um when I had um when I had my dolls out. I put them away since I rearranged the room and there was no and I had a, the computers back here in my bedroom is about in the living room. Um he hated it because like he would try to go to sleep and he felt like the dolls were always staring at him. Not like a weird thing for him like not to feel. We could put this on like Whoa, that is huge. Beautiful, but huge. That's not what I was looking for in this in this in this space. Oh, because the toys are facing the bed. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> To be fair, I could move it, or at least use a different dresser. Oh, laundry room washing instruction. Yeah, that is nice. Because we all know that one person that, like, can't actually follow directions for washing their clothes. Hit, hit me. Hit, hit. No, no, it's fine. Okay. I am that person that does not follow the, the laundry symbol. That is me. Oh, yeah, I forgot. So, I feel like this is my favorite part of... One of the favorite parts of this entire kitchen. Is the image. Look at that. That's like a smart interface. I love it. Makes it feel more luxurious. So we're looking at posters. So maybe. No, this is a kid's room. Maybe. That was good. Um. Uh, my younger sister says that I should get a, like, a net for, like, a corner of the room and have, like, all of my stuffed animals in that. And I said, what was the point of that? I wish I could like turn it to the Henry Puffer. <laughs> I feel like they were trying to get away with like Harry Potter. Gonna be one interesting kid. Posters all over the wall. Reminds me of my younger sister. She has an entire like wall dedicated to uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender, and like. It was beautiful the way she designed it. It's like going from left to right. It was like the colors of the rainbow, but each particular picture was like a scene in Avatar The Last Airbender. So every single scene was like, if like that section was like green, so everything was, it was absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> 
Which reminds me, the next time I go down to see my parents, I need to bring my sister's Christmas gift that I still have yet to give her. <laughs> We're already in April. I keep forgetting to bring it down there. <clears throat> and like when my parents came up and they saw us, I, I gave it to them and then they themselves forgot to bring it with them. I'm so bad about that. <laughs> See, I don't think there's anything else I want to put on the... And honestly, I kind of like this room like this. Like, I probably should find some more... Like... And put some more toys down, but honestly, I really like the simplicity of this. Really, like, I really love the simplicity. Maybe I could put like a, a small bookshelf right here. Yeah, bookshelf. Gift of fire. Throne is not allowed anywhere near fire ever again. Like, not at all. <clears throat> Donna. Let's put that in here. Why can't I find any bookshelves? In like the last place. I will. No idea where I'm looking for more of a kid's one. That sounds like this, actually. Here we go. I like that quite a lot. Especially since there's a bunch of posters. Oh, sick. Hey, read. Yeah, maybe we could put like a couple um stuffed animals there. If I want it. No matter. I still think it looks good. Ooh, you should maybe save. If you happen to are to be playing a game where you are saving, make sure you put save. <laughs> Oh, and Ranny is going to redeem a stretch as well. Uh, there we go. Right, we have done amazing with this build so far. All we have left to do now is the closets. Oh no, I forgot this is a closet. <laughs> And so is that right there. Okay. We'll have to fix those areas um, another day. Yeah, we'll have to fix them another day. <clears throat> no matter, though. It's not going to hurt anybody. So I think this is where we will, uh, we will stop for the day, though. Because I am getting tired and I have to be up super early in the morning. Um... To all of my lurkers that have been lurking, and I really appreciate you guys supporting the channel. You guys are absolutely amazing, and I so deeply appreciate you guys lurking. To my chatters that have been chatting with me all night, 
it, I thank you so much for your company. You additionally have been an absolute blessing. I really appreciate everyone who has been supporting the stream so far and helping me to better it in every way. It really means a lot, especially since I'm trying and working very hard to be a better streamer for you, because that's that's who I really want to be better for. Um, <clears throat> to my friends uh, Kip and Mechanic, who has been instrumental in helping me as well with the stream, you have my never-ending blessing and thank and thank thankfulness. <laughs> Gratitude is actually what I should say. Um, <clears throat> So, my, so, so it's Thursday and Friday. I have scheduled for me to have off as far as like they're optional. Um, because I'm not feeling so great and my throat does kind of hurt, I am going to take the next few days off and we will resume stream on Saturday at 4 p.m. And we will be doing a Stardew Valley weekend. So I will be streaming Valley on Saturday and Sunday. And then, of course, we'll continue on through next week. But I'm really excited to continue on with this build, continuing on with our Stardew Valley gameplay and even our Lost Ark gameplay, which has been amazing so far. Um, to my Woohoo Stardew, com Stardew Comfy streams, yes. Yes, this is because especially we could, we could all use with all the craziness that goes on in this world and in our everyday life, you know, really taking the time to just relax into a comfy stream is exactly what I feel like a lot of us really need, just to kind of forget the, the troubles of the day. But <clears throat> thank you all again for joining me. I always want to remember you guys to stay safe, to stay hydrated, and to have a magical day and try not to think negatively. I know I need to say that more to myself than to anybody else here, but to always try to think on the positive side because you never know what's gonna happen, even though there are lots of uncertainties. And like I said, I do need to say that more to myself than to anybody else. <laughs> but let's go see if we can find somebody to raid today um, for all of my sub people. This is going to be your um, raid message. And for my non-sub people, here is yours. Remember, when we are raiding somebody's chat, we should only ever post the raid message one time. We don't want to blow up their entire stream, okay? But let's see who we can raid right now. Open that up. Who is streaming right now? Let's see. Oh, Hacken is just starting and they are streaming Dead by Daylight. I think that's who we are going to raid tonight. And I will see you all on Saturday. Bye now, guys.